Hi, I'm Caroline. Welcome to FYI News Bite. Here's what we found for your information this lunchtime. A terror threat looms over America's 9-11 anniversary. U.S. officials say they're investigating a credible but unconfirmed threat that Al-Qaeda was planning to use a car bomb to target bridges or tunnels in New York or Washington. Despite the tip-off, America's terror alert level has not changed. Security has been stepped up leading to the 10th anniversary on Sunday. The mayor of the Big Apple, Michael Bloomberg, says New Yorkers should go about their business as usual. Now, the threat at this moment has not been corroborated. I want to stress that. It is credible, but it has not been corroborated. But we do live in a world where we must take these threats seriously, and we certainly will. The NYPD is deploying additional resources around the city and taking other steps to keep our city safe, some of which you may notice and some of which you will not notice. Living up to our promises, Europe has given Ireland a positive report card on how we've handled the bailout. The report just out details the government's progress in spending cuts, tax increases and economic changes to comply with the cash deal. The IMF team's due back in Dublin next month to examine the books in the Department of Finance. A 38-year-old woman has died in a fire in her home in Sligo. She was the only one in the house in Marin Park in Ballymote at the time. The body has been removed to Sligo General Hospital. The scene has been sealed off while forensics move in. It doesn't rain, but it pours. Tropical Storm Lee is adding to weather misery in the U.S. Northeast. 100,000 residents have received evacuation orders in washed-out areas in Pennsylvania and New York. In the town of Binghamton in New York, rising water levels now threaten levees and thousands of buildings. 11 deaths have been blamed on Tropical Storm Lee. This is supposed to be a 500-year flood, but we had one uh, five years ago, so it's... Uh it's obviously very sobering, and this is actually worse than the one five years ago. We had an earthquake, then we had another uh, you know, hurricane come in, and uh, this is the remnants of a big tropical storm. A blast from the past is making a comeback for charity. The speculation surrounding the release of the Nike replica of the shoe Michael J. Fox wore in the Back to the Future Part 2 is finally over. 1,500 pairs are being auctioned off on eBay. All the net proceeds will go to the Michael J. Fox Foundation. And the Rugby World Cup has kicked off. Hosts New Zealand took care of business with an opening 41-10 win over Tonga, scoring five tries to seal a victory. It could be in here again. Richard Kahui. Oh, it's lovely stuff. FYI is interactive. From your opinions to news you think we should be covering, we want to hear it all. FYI is available to you 24-7 online for all the information you need to know. Simply log on to tv3.ie forward slash 3e forward slash FYI. Here you'll find the latest stories, video catch-ups, comments and the FYI blog. We're also available to you on Twitter and Facebook. Just log on to the website and hit the social networking shortcuts. Time now for a look at the funniest clips on the web. Here's our top five. At number 5, 100 pin bowling, cheating or awesome, you decide. At number 4, it's called grinding and this is why. Consider his bits ground. At number three, target practice should come after you learn to hold the gun. <laughs> At number two, this dad sealed the deal with his slippery seal impression. <laughs> And number one today, these guys are putting on a flipping good show, but it goes pants pretty quickly. <laughs> Tune in to FYI later for the newest downloads. We'll have more on the top stories. Let's catch up on today's tech news with Cassie and Paul will be here with all the sport. We'll see you back here at six right here on 3E. Thank you.